Here in Austin, we love our creeks and lakes, so the city's working to turn stream banks and floodplains that were previously mowed into healthy riparian areas. While working to establish a diverse native plant community, there are also some steps that can be taken to increase visibility or access to the creek. Ragweed is a native plant that is often one of the first to appear in grow zones after mowing is stopped. It provides great ecological benefits to a healing riparian area. Ragweed provides shade that keeps the soil cooler and not as dry, helping other plants like young trees survive in the summer months. Its roots help reduce soil erosion and compaction. It also adds organic matter to the top layer of soil and helps trap additional material. However, some folks may see ragweed as a nuisance or weed. If you need to remove ragweed, the stems can be cut at the base and scattered in thin layer as mulch to help conserve the soil. During the heat of summer, it's best to only thin the stand, allowing some plants to remain for shade. At the beginning of their flowering stage, in the late summer or early fall, it is okay to recut all the remaining ragweed. This technique gives other native plants a better chance of growing while maintaining the benefits that ragweed provides. If you have skin that is sensitive to ragweed, you may want to use gloves and a long sleeve shirt and wear a mask if the plants are producing pollen. Remember, before you remove any plants, you should have an approved riparian restoration plan in place. The next step after clearing ragweed is seeding with native grasses and wildflowers. To learn more about riparian restoration and to get involved, visit austintexas.gov forward slash creekside.